Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember, guys, this is for adults. And don't forget to become a channel member. Hit click on that join button. There's three tiers. All kinds of perks. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Pinterest, and especially over on ZachJackDan.com for all the photos you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan. We got another Every Marvel Legends video. This time we're talking about every 2023 Marvel Legends wave. So these are the full waves that 2023 Marvel Legends has given us from Hasbro. And let's talk about the best of as well. My top 10 list of best waves of 2023. So let's start off talking about our X-Men wave. Here we got the Uncanny X-Men Spiral figure. You see on the back of the card back the other five figures in this wave so six figures total in this x-men wave but definitely spiral needed a upgrade she had a hasbro figure way way back in the day target exclusive from the red hulk build a figure and it was a great figure but this is such an improvement every arm having swords the hands actually having four fingers each looks great with the helmet on the white eyes beautiful figure and a much needed improvement over what we had before. One we've never seen in Marvel Legends Avalanche here. We did see an Avalanche in the X-Men Classics, but this time we're seeing him in actual Marvel Legends. Kind of a disappointment, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but you can see the artwork there showing a nice big body, angry faced Avalanche. That's what I would love to have seen, but in this case we got this kind of skinnier body with no expression on his face. As you can see here. So yeah, glad we got him for the Brotherhood, but this was a very disappointing iteration of how they have shown him off to us here. Extra hands fisted and open. Blah face. Another one we have here we've seen before in a two-pack. It was Toys R Us. This is Dark Phoenix on her vintage car back here with that crazy hair. Got the Phoenix Force there with her. Got open and fisted hands as well for her. That belt is kind of flowing off of her with the Phoenix symbol on it. It's a very nice shot of Jean Grey Phoenix here. We have Long Shot, which we just got Long Shot in the Mojo World box set, which was an exclusive. And here he is again already. Uh, iteration is the iteration I would have rather actually had with the yellow around the eye, the yellow star on the chest, he's got the satchel, the knife, this is just the version I would have rather had, got the four fingers on him, but yeah, long shot, definitely long overdue, Toy Biz was the last time we had saw him before the Mojo box set, but definitely one of the things that got me into comics years ago was the long shot storylines, there's all the accessories he does come with. And then we have a Wolverine here in his yellow and blue. This is the start of the yellow and blue. We had two box sets this year, three packs to finish up the rest of the teams. But yeah, here is Wolverine, extra head sculpt. Got the claws popped and not popped. But yep, there's that X-Men costume with the yellow and blue. Got the X logo on the belt. Anger face, stoic face. And then we have Multiple Man, nice army builder here for us. We'd seen Multiple Man before. I think it was back in the Apocalypse Wave, but this is the green and gold version here. And he has an extra head sculpt there. What a nice to have more head sculpts just so we can army build even more different styles. But fisted and open hands. Big old eyebrows on this guy. Yeah, there's your six figures from the Uncanny X-Men wave from 2023. All right, so let's start off with the Puff Adder wave, plastic repackaging. You got the orb, this giant eyeball. It comes with the right arm for the Puff Adder. It comes with this gun. You also have the Molecule Man here. It comes with the left leg. He has effect pieces, open and fisted hands. First time seeing both of these guys in the Marvel Legends line. 
you have your Extremis Iron Man. Got the open and fisted hands, the effect pieces there. You got your Ultimate Captain America coming with the head for the build a figure. Cap has an extra head himself, an extra hands, the shield of course. You have your Wonder Man here in his bomber jacket or whatever you want to call that. It's got the jet propulsion there for the side of his belt with those effect pieces. Comes with the left arm for the puff adder. It's the first time seeing this version of Wonder Man. You have your Yelena Belova here with this awesome looking mask on her face. Lots and lots of effect pieces. She comes with the torso. Baron Von Strucker, the last time we saw him was in the two packs from the Toy Biz days. Much needed upgrade here for this Baron Von Strucker. Come with the right leg for the Puff Adder. Effect pieces there as well. So you got Great Wave here for the Puff Adder and the Avengers. There's the Puff Adder himself for the Serpent Society. Awesome wave. Next we have our 60th anniversary Avengers Beyond Earth and Mightiest. Here's your Mark 1 Iron Man. Last time we saw Mark 1 Iron Man was in Toy Biz. Much needed here for this version. Plastic free packaging for this wave. We have a two pack here with Captain Marvel and the Doombot. Or Doctor Doom and Monica Rambo. Nice little roundabout video here of the rendering of these. You got the Hulk and Bruce two pack here. First time seeing Bruce in the line. So you got your Gray Hulk with the orange shirt on there, the crushed steel pipe there. But nice seeing Bruce finally in his lab coat. Roundabout video here with all the accessories. I definitely like it with the shirt on better. Another 60th anniversary here with the Super Scroll Spider Woman Queen of the Scrolls. There she is with that scroll face. Really cool figure. Plus the Super Scroll she comes with. Got the wings behind under the arms. The electricity effect or whatever power effect there she has. Roundabout video here showing the extra kind of wings that she could come with. Extra head and hands. And these are plastic repackages for the 60th anniversary of Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest. is with the wings spread wide versus the smaller wings. But yeah, here he is, 12 inch. Got the shield, the hammer, looking like Hawkeye as well. Iron Man, arc reactor in the chest there. Very 
Very cool figure to add to the villain shelf for 2023. And there it is again, plastic free. Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest. Another three two pack here with the 60th anniversary. This is an Amazon exclusive. You got the Cersei along with the Black Knight. Cersei with the big power effect pieces. Black Knight with his bomber jacket. Both with their bomber jacket, I should say. There's the, with the effect piece on her hands and without it. Plus she has fisted and open. All right, here's our Thor and Destroyer two pack here. Destroyer is awesome. Thor's pretty good too. Package there, plastic free. Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest 60th anniversary. Thor's got that mask on over his face there. Now you want is actually written with it there on the hammer. He's got his other face mask there without the plate on it. your destroyer so very cool replacing my hawk on my shelf as well with these more lighter color purple and blues again these are plastic free see everything it comes with open and fisted hands side of that package Shooting that arrow. There's that sky cycle with the plastic on the front there, the seat, and you can sit on it because he has soft goods. There it is from the underside with the figure stand. Then we have another one with Black Widow here. Target exclusive, three head sculpts, all kinds of accessories. See all those accessories she comes with, the package, plastic free, jumping into action, long hair, crazy bangs, short hair. So here's our Walmart exclusive Bucky Captain America. Got the shield, the extra hands, the knife, and the gun. Bucky Cat finally getting them a new mold, pinless. There's the front and back of that package, and Cap in action. Yeah, there is the 60th anniversary figures. Had a little tease that, hey, we are going to get another Star Jammer in 2023. Didn't say what it was yet, and again, like I said, there was no Build-A-Figure shown in the way yet for us. But there was a little tease here. Had a little rose, had a little golf club, and then had a little Kriri. So this little animal here is Chods or Chode, sorry guys, whatever, whichever way you want to pronounce it. His little pet. So we knew we were going to be getting him soon, so that let us know we were going to be getting this build a figure as well. Or maybe a deluxe, we didn't know at the time. But here we go. We finally see another Star Jammer besides. Cyclops and Havoc's dad, Corsair. So yeah, there's that full wave. We do not know what the build figure is, but I believe they might have teased it. I'll talk about that here in a second. I love it when you have an all comp book. All the same type of storyline with X-Men. Build a figure. That's all the same so that you can decide if you want to purchase it all or not to get that build a figure. In this case, it would have been awesome had they actually got the right colors for Chad, and I would have got this whole wave. But yeah, Kid Omega, got the blaster and the glasses. And here's Kid Omega in package with his Build-A-Figure piece and accessories. Fang. Hopefully we'll come with another mouth, not just the one, we'll see. And here's Fang in package with his Build-A-Figure pieces and accessories. 
Kriri. And also hopefully we'll get some more Imperial Guard to go along with our Guardian figure that we have. Got your Chamber figure here. And your Chamber and Package with its Build-A-Figure piece and accessories. Monet. And here's M and Package with our Build-A-Figure piece and accessories. Corsair. And here's Corsair in Package from the Star Jammers with its Build-A-Figure piece and accessories. Emma. And here's Emma Frost in package with her build a figure piece and accessories. And Cyclops. And here's our astonishing Cyclops in package. Would have been nice to have seen an extra head sculpt with that. There's his extra hands. No build a figure piece for Cyclops. So we knew we were going to be getting him soon, so that let us know we were going to be getting this Build-A-Figure as well. Or maybe a Deluxe, we didn't know at the time. But here we go. We finally see another Star Jammer besides Cyclops and Havoc's dad, Corsair. So here's the figure. You see the jaw is got a little bit of articulation in it. I want you to notice that there is a lot of green on this figure. Okay, you see Crew Rear up on his shoulder. It looks pretty awesome there. Got the new sculpt on the arms and a little bit on the back for the uh, the little fin that he has there. Different hands as well. You got the belt on him as well there. There you go with Kruger again on the ground. And there's the mouth articulation open and closed. I don't know if it's articulated or if we're getting two head sculpts. We'll have to see tomorrow whenever the pre-orders go up. Go up. Uh, you can see the belt kind of gets twisted around there on this one shot here. So let's hope that that doesn't have any kind of issues on our, our figure here. This is a reuse of a Abomination Builder figure from way, way back, uh, which was also a figure from the the Raft uh, SDCC box set that was repainted. But yeah, here is your child figure with Kriri. Very, very green figure. Now, the reason I keep on saying very, very green figure, let's see here in a second. It's a pretty cool looking wave there for the X-Men. You got six figures to build the Chod build a figure. You have another figure in the way with Cyclops Astonishing, who does not have a build a figure piece. You do see this is plastic free packaging, another disappointment there. But why did I say all green? Well, notice on this figure the fins and the mouth, and especially the ears, they're yellow. Okay? Every picture that I see of Chod is yellow. The toenails as well. And on this turnaround picture of a rendering of it, you see yellow on that as well. So I really, really hope that this is the version we're getting with the yellow on the back and the fins and the and the ears. I'd even love for it to be even more pronounced than that. Um, toenails and the mouth as well. There you see it on the side, got a little bit of paint on the side as well. This is what I'd rather see with this, just this little bit of yellow versus comparing it right here to this build a figure we're, we're sh being shown right here so I hope this is not what we're getting with just a solid green like this I want it to have yellow just like this with the lips the ears and the fins all being yellow now something else I want you to notice right here look at the rendering here how the figure actually has lines through him kind of like you know Colossus has those lines through his metal very similar to that and cable and whatnot you have those lines in this figure now on the top of the, the build a figure that we're getting, you see lines kind of in the torso, but you're not seeing it in the arms or the legs. So rather than reusing this abomination, I really feel like they should have gave us a brand new sculpt so we can have these lines just like we have in the renderings. There you see from the side, you know, it's it's okay. Uh, you have a way more pronounced fin in the rendering and the face and the head is a lot deeper than what we're getting with this particular figure. Again, I still worry about those legs. They just aren't what I was expecting to see for, for this figure. And on the back, it looks okay from the back. But like I said, if you look at the fin from the side, you'll see that fin will stick out way more dramatically. But again, those legs killing me. So yeah, great X-Men wave. There they are in package. Front and back. 
all the figures plus the build a figure and all the pieces that they came with. There's that full wave. Very cool wave. So here is the wave. We have seven figures in this wave. One was teased to us a while back, showing us Rose. And we got all kinds of goodies here that you can go order, pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store or any of these other sites. But yeah, here are the seven Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures from this vintage wave. So here we are with our spiky toed tarantula figure here. Got the tarantula symbol on his chest there, paint marks all down the body, the nice flowing bandana there, white eyes, the nice mustache as well. Great figure. Again, you see this is back to that original vintage card, so this kind of finishes up the vintage collection, I guess, maybe. There's the back of that card showing the tarantula and, and the kind of classic look there. Nice close-up of him. And him in action with those spiked toes. So again, we haven't seen a tarantula figure in years and years and years since way back in the possibly toy biz days i'm not sure what figure that was in the spider-man classics next like i said we had this one that was teased because they showed us the little rose there uh, dwight did but you see this is the rose on the older vintage car back as well he does come with two guns extra hands got the sun the glasses over his mask there a rose on his chest and one loose fisted and gripping hands and uh pistol grip hands there's the back of that card. Again, you can see up close that rose figure. Got the tie on. And here he is in action. Nice shoes as well. So here we go with a Ben Riley in his new costume. You can see that spider logo is all crooked there. Extra hands fisted and whipping and an open hand there. Big eyes, really big eyes back of that package and again this is that new package so it doesn't have that original look this is kind of a newer look and again check out those eyes that logo is all crooked too so looking like this is pinless joints on both the legs and the arms as well so that is a good up for this one and nice painted lines on the webbing And the alternate ego of the Ben Riley is Chasm. Got the effect pieces, the um, weapons there on his wrist as well. I love the purple and green colors on this. And the paint, paint looks really good. Back of that package here. Again, this is that newer package. But still vintage. Yeah, the face looks really good. Like those lines coming down the neck too. And they did not go painless with him, interesting enough. And here we go with Electra Nachos as Daredevil. Got that mask that covers her face. You can see she can kind of look up and it'll show her uh, mouth and nose as well. Got the size. Again, this is that new packaging. Back of that package. The hair popping out the top of her uh, mask there. The, the horns on her head. I love the sculpt on this right here. I'm not sure if this is a reuse or not, but I, I like the sculpt on those legs especially. Got DD right on the chest as Daredevil. And again, you can see that face up underneath there. Her hair tied up into a ponytail and kind of pushed up. It's a really cool sculpt there. Another female on the way, we got Spider Woman, Jessica Drew, in her new costume. Extra hands fisted and open. Got the spider logo, red and yellow right there on her chest. The spider webs down the arms and up the shoulders there. The diamond on the head there. Back of that package. Diamonds on the hands too. In action, I like the diamond. If you look at her calf there on the left picture, you can see there's a diamond on her calf there with a the line down it too. And spider webs on the feet. Something weird about her belly button there. 
quickly. That's not going to come out in the sculpt. And then we have Miles Morales in his new costume here with the jacket on. You can see the strings at the bottom, the face mask there. I guess he's dealing with COVID. Fisted and flipping hands. Back of that package. Again, this is that newer package as well. And here he is in action. A little spider logo on the jacket. Yeah, there's your two on the left that finishes up that original vintage collection, I guess. And then you got your newer cards right here on the right. So there is your full wave of this vintage 2023 Spider-Man wave. There's our Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Manium wave with the build a figure of Stature or Cassie Lang. First MC figure we have is Kang. You can see the package says Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Manium on it right there. This says plastic free packaging. And a very nice likeness to the actor there. You can see the massive heads that are going to be coming with him for the Build-A-Figure. So this is definitely going to be a, a very large Build-A-Figure finally. You see he has extra hands that he comes with. He's wearing a cape this time. Yeah, nice shots of him. Good close-ups showing the actor's face. And that is some great um, printing on those faces right there. Very accurate. So really cool figure there for the MCU. Okay, you can see Ant-Man himself, Scott Lang. You can see he does come with a helmet and without it. And he does not come with a builder figure piece, interesting enough. He does come with extra fingers, one pointing, two fisted. And like I said, there's that extra helmet. Great likeness to our actor there. A pretty cool figure. And we've seen these Ant-Man figures before, but I guess the costume is a little bit different this time as well. So Paul Rudd, nice job. Then we have Angelina Lilly here as Wasp again. Front and back there you can see helmet free and without and with the helmet. And then you also see no wings and wings. And she does come with one of the legs for Cassie Lang. Extra sets of hands too, open and fisted. Good likeness to Angelina Lilly as well. Pretty cool costume. Got the blue and the gold on that costume. All right, and then we jump into the comic base figures for the wave. And we got a classic Ultron. I'm not sure why Marvel Legends is putting out another Ultron already. Uh, we just got one in the previous wave, so you got me on that one. Comes with the left arm and extra hand for Cassie Lang. He comes with extra hands as well and that effect piece that can go out of its mouth. But yeah, another Ultron. We also have future Ant-Man. Got the big old electronic head there, I guess. Antennas on the top. It comes with the right hand and arm of Cassie. No accessories for him. But yeah, that's a cool looking figure. Not for me though. Then we have Egghead. So Egghead looks pretty good. Got the lab coat, the tie. Got the little gun he comes with. The glasses. Comes with the torso for Cassie. So as you can see, you can see how much bigger that is than egg, Egghead. So it is going to be a fairly large, fairly tall uh, build figure there. So not a bad figure. Then you have Crossfire. So Crossfire here has his, his uh, I guess, target right there on his eye. So he can get a better shot. It's got the gun that can go over his shoulder. Got some effect pieces there. Extra hands open and fisted. And he comes with the leg for Cassie. So pretty cool looking figure there. As you can see, we got a Cassie Lang build a figure. So a very nice tall figure here for her. Not a bad wave. Then we got the build a figure herself. So there here you can see the stature 
Funny I said stature because that's her name. But it's Cassie Lang here compared to the Ant-Man figure. So he comes up to her waist. So a very nice size build a figure there. And there's her face sculpt. So again, if you, as you saw with Kang, it's a uh, very large head sculpt there that's coming with these. So that tells you how big the figure's gonna be. And there she is with the helmet on. Got the nice tennis shoes on there. Here's your Wave 1. You can see the regular Magneto. You have Rogue, Gambit, Wolverine, Storm, and Bishop. Here's your Wolverine. Bishop with the short hair. Gambit with the long hair. I think Gambit might be the only one that doesn't have the new pinless bodies in this line. Here's your Rogue. Magneto. And Storm. Maskless Wolverine. You have the mask on, mask off. So what a great wave here. And notice in this wave one, there is no alternate head. So they actually gave us more in the wave two than they have in wave one. You can see on the back who all is in wave one. There's the extra hands they did give us though. This is the first pinless Magneto ever made by my, my Marvel Legends. Got the shadowy effect under his eyes there under that helmet. Here's your Wolverine figure, yellow, tiger stripe. Now he does come with two different head sculpts. One maskless, one masked. Got the claws there. So you have the claws popped or the claws put in. He's got the extra hood that you can lay on the back side of the, the uh, sculpt. Or you can take it off, either one. Here's your Storm with her mohawk. Extra hands. Got the soft goods piece there, a little plastic for her cape. So she can look like she's flying through the air. We got our rogue figure here. Endless for her as well. Storm as well. Extra hands. This time she's got a hand holding the glove there. One hand with nothing on it. And then you can't have Rogue without Gambit. So here's Gambit. Again, he does have pins. Got a nice head sculpt with that hair going crazy. His staff there and the extra hand sculpts for the throwing of the cards. Very cool poses here. And you have Bishop. Bishop with the short hair. Designed just for this show, like I said. There's your extra hand sculpts, his gun. Of course, you can store the gun on the back. There is that full wave, all four figures. Sorry, all six figures. In package. Here's a Cosmo build a figure wave from Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Tiny build a figure again. The first figure we got is Adam Warlock here. And these are all MCU based figures. You can see he does come with the helmet and the tail for the Cosmo. He's got the nice cape on. So you got the gold face and hands as well. So not a bad likeness to the actor. Next we have the Kraglin. Again, this is the MCU version. He's got the sail on top of his head. He comes with a knife and his arrow flying through the air, which will go in his little uh, sheath there on the side, I guess. Plus, he comes with one of the legs for Cosmo. All right, so up close. Again, the, the face printing technology is wonderful on this. There you can see where it's stored kind of in that little holster there. And how he's whistling it out. Next we have Rocket Raccoon, and you can see all the rest of these Guardians are going to have them on their blue and red costumes, all matching. He comes with a massive gun, and he comes with the torso and head of Cosmo. You can see him in poses with that gun, and without it. Next 
Next we have Mantis. The last time we saw Mantis was in build a figure version. So here again you see her with that costume on. Got one of the legs with Cosmo, no other effect pieces. You see this tentacle sticking up over the top, over the top of her head. And got some little hand gesture there. Next we have Drax, Dave Bautista, last time he's been playing this role. You see him in his costume. Got the knives that he comes with and another leg for Cosmo. Something else I gotta point out, this is plastic prepackaging, of course. Here he is in action. Next we have Nebula. She got an extra effect piece there to switch out for her hand. It's kind of like a knife or sword there. Comes with a gun herself and one of the legs for Cosmo. And a tiny little gun as well. Here she can see all those in action. You can just take the hand out and put the sword there instead. And again, very nice head sculpt there. And then we got Star Lord. So Chris Pratt got his two guns, no build of figure piece, and that's it. And yet it's still going to be $25. Mm. Here he is in action. Got the sideburns, the goatee this time. And again with that blue and red costume. So there is your Cosmo build a figure. Along with all the packages there, of course, Star-Lord does not need to be bought in order to build the Cosmo. I like the Cosmo, but I cannot believe we're going back to tiny build figures again. Here's Cosmo in action. And it doesn't look like that face shield is articulated for it to come down over his face, but it may be. I hope it is. Here's that full wave. Great movie. And at least Cosmo's bigger than Rocket. Here we go with Jessica Drew from the Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. Animated here, movie that came out in 2023. You can see the back of the car there with all the other figures that will be in this line. She's got the extra hands, very nice look with the big old hair on her, the glasses, and the kind of thick in the middle, I'm assuming she's pregnant. But yeah, nice design here, looking just like the movie. Nice little roundabout video showing her off. Great sculpt. We got Spider Gwen again from the last one. She had several figures. There she is, extra hands, extra head sculpt. Really beautiful face there that they have on her. Got the blue shoes again. Hood down, hood up. Nice little roundabout video of her. Got the shaved head on that head sculpt. Really cool. Got the spot, definitely a cool one. He comes with the Miles Morales popping through the spots there. Very interesting sculpt. Got the uh, figure stand there to kind of let him fight with him. Very interesting design here for this guy. His body all contorted. Nice little roundabout video showing this guy off. And I cannot wait to get spot in the regular Marvel Legend figure from comic style. Your Miles Morales, two different head sculpts, extra hands. 
very cool sculpt on this guy. Nice roundabout video on him with his head and his extra hands. Spider-Man 2099, again with a really interesting sculpt, larger upper torso there, extra hands. Got the webbing effect off the back. Video here. There you see the colors on the back of that webbing. You got your Peter B. Parker again. Would have been cool if he'd had the baby with him. And the extra head sculptor would have been cool too. A little basic here for me. Video here around about. You got your spider punk really great design for him i love the stickers all over the guitar the spiked spikes on the head very cool designs shoe strings all the way up very interesting it's suspender straps hanging down too that's really awesome Yeah, there's that full wave. All seven figures from the great movie of 2023. There's that full wave of seven in package. Next we have the totally awesome Hulk build a figure, Amadeus Chow. Three females in this wave, all three MCU. Alright, so here's Inhumans Karnak with the right arm for the Hulk. Here's Marvel Boy with the left arm for Hulk. Got two guns for him. Got our Heroes Return, Iron Man, no build a figure piece. Got our Commander Rogers here with the Invisible Shield. Comes with the head for the Hulk. With Photon, come with the right leg, extra hands. Looks just like the actress, perfect. Got the earring in the hair, the crazy hair. And I hate the Marvel's bomb like a day because it was actually a good movie. Got your Captain Marvel here, Carol Danvers with the left leg, extra hands, effect pieces there. So these pulled kind of partially up her arm. Got her longer hair again. Then you got your Miss Marvel from Disney Plus. She's coming with the torso and also the Flarkin. Extra hands for her. That one doesn't look as much like her. And here's Amadeus Chow with his totally awesome hair and shorts. For our totally awesome Hulk finally coming to the Marvel Legends line. And there's that full wave. The rest of it is comic based. Plastic free. Sides of the package. Next we have a full wave of vintage No Way Home figures. They're on the vintage card back, so no build a figure pieces, but here's your Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Hands and the extra head as well. 
That is your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man there. Very good likeness to Toby. I like the the um, detail that is in this sculpt. We have our amazing Spider-Man here, Andrew Garfield from Spider-Man 2. Extra hands there, and the extra head sculpt with the mask. And then we have our last scene, our after credits scene from No Way Home of our Tom Holland Spider-Man with that new blue suit that he has. Extra hands, lots of them, and the extra head. Looking really good. Flying through the air like he was in that scene. We also have our MJ, she's coming with the Machina de Dadavus or the thingamajig. Extra hands for her as well. There's the thingamajig. We have our No Way Home Matt Murdock catching the brick there. You can see the brick in his hand. He's got his, his staff. There's Walking Cane, Review on College. He's got his glasses on, and this is a nice pinless suited body. Very cool. We have our No Way Home Sandman figure here. You can see he's got the option to switch out from regular arms to these bigger hands and forearms there. You can see those in action. Very cool. There's that full wave of six vintage um, No Way Home figures. So there's your three that aren't Spider-Man and all three of your Spider-Mans. And I love that movie, guys. Tom Holland is amazing. So are the other guys. I was so glad to see them all together. All six in package. All right, so here's our Marvel Knights wave with our Blade, Daredevil, and Luke Cage. Finally, Luke Cage for the first time since Toy Biz. Got your Clea, Fist Ninja, Iron Man, Moon, Midnight Suns, Luke Cage, Power Man, Blade, Daredevil, Lady Bullseye. Finally. There's your clear end package with the build a figure pieces and accessories. You can see we are no longer plastic free packaging for this mindless one build a figure wave. The first time seeing Clea in the Marvel Legends line. Here's your Luke Cage, Power Man. You can see the build a figure piece he comes with, extra hands, chain around the waist there. Much needed. Would have loved to see an extra head sculpt with this guy. Got your daredevil, no build a figure piece for this guy with the beard, the spear. See all the accessories he comes with. His fist ninja. And yep, daredevil and Electra are leading the fist this time instead of the hand. This is their assassins. The skull face, that's awesome. Got your blade figure here. Looking really good, got the flat top. You can see the back of that package. All the accessory comes with are awesome. Wish there were places to store them though. You got your Midnight Suns Iron Man. You see the build a figure piece there, back of the package. You got the effect piece there. Lady Bullseye finally. She was part of a fan vote years ago, which I thought she should have won, but she did not. But this would have been a great figure years ago. You see the accessories she comes with, and the build a figure piece she comes with. And then the build a figure himself is a nice army builder, the mindless one build a figure. Those extra hands, too, the effect piece out of the eye that can come out. So, what a great wave! 
all comic based mindless one really cool in all their plastic glory we see finally revealed not sure why they held off with Goliath I guess because that what if show has never showed up but we have a Goliath figure here showing off here with the Hydra Stomper build a figure wave all these other ones have actually showed up technically Gamora hasn't either in the Disney Plus wave or in the series but yeah there's our full wave of seven figures plus the build a figure and of course this Hydra Stomper is different than the original Hydra Stomper but yeah, there's our full wave of figures, plus the build a figure. So here's Agatha Harkness from WandaVision. You can see she comes with the backpack or the rocket pack for the Hydra Stomper and the Steve Rogers head and the Hydra Stomper head. There's the front and back of the package. Of course, we are plastic free still. You see Agatha has the flowing gown on there for her new show that she's going to have. But this is from WandaVision. If she is up close, she got the brooch around her neck massive hair so there she is we have warrior Gamora from the what if show and of course she'll be part of season two of what if but she's got the sword for Thanos she comes with the left arm and hand for the Hydra Stomp and build a figure and she got only Thanos armor as well there she is in action And again, here is the Goliath figure. This was the one that they were holding off from showing us because the What If has not come out with him showing yet. Got a big G on his belt there. Never seen this type of Goliath before. Not sure what is, what's up with this. Uh, but you got the right arm and hand for the Hydra Stomper build a figure. And here he is in action. Got a nice translucent eyepiece there over his helmet. Hawkeye we have the Kingpin built Kingpin build a figure comes with his extra hands no build a figure piece but he does have a cane so this is the one figure in the way that does not have a build a figure piece for the Hydra Stomper Vincent D'Onofrio nice likeness of him then we have from Hawkeye as well Yelena Belova Black Widow she comes with a massive torso there has her clubs and extra hands for herself as well. There she is. You can see the braid, braids in the back of her hair. Good looking figure. I love her hair. The braid is awesome. And we have from the new show Secret Invasion, Talos the Scroll here. Of course, you have the regular human form, and then you can switch out the hands and head for the scroll version. Comes with the right leg for the build a figure. There he is with human and scroll parts. He's got that jacket on, extra pants there, the boots, and the shirt. And then also from Secret Invasion, you have your Nick Fury with his toboggan on his head. He's got his eye patch. Got guns, one with the silence, one without. The smoke effect, the blast effects, and he comes with the left leg for the Hydra Stomper. So you can see you can take on and off the toboggan and how the effect pieces work there on the guns. So there's our Steve Rogers in the Hydra Stomper costume. And there's the builder figure itself, the Steve Rogers head, the regular head that goes on top of that as well. Got the big old massive jetpack on his back. Nice up close shot of that Steve Rogers bearded head. And just in case you want to see the difference between the two Hydra Stompers, there's the deluxe right there in the middle compared to the new version we have here is the builder figure. Very, very different. There is your Hydra Stomper build a figure wave from Disney Plus. So here's that wave in package, plastic free. 
onto the package. A little size comparison between the original Hydra Stomper build a figure. Sorry, deluxe. This is the build a figure, smaller than the deluxe was. Alright, so we had already gotten teased that we were getting Black Widow, Bruce Banner, and the Iron Man Mark II back at SDCC 2023. And then here is the rest of them. We have eight total Infinity Sagas coming in 2023. So not only do we have that Iron Man, we have another Iron Man, Tony Stark here, head sculpt, the Tom Holland Spider-Man, Steve Rogers, Captain America. We have the War Machine. So yeah, let's get into this. All right, so here we have Infinity Saga Black Widow here from Captain America the Winter Soldier. See, she has two different head sculpts, longer hair and shorter hair. Back of that package, a little right up there, showing Captain America the Winter Soldier's where this is coming from. She has the effect pieces around her wrist, extra hands. Again with the two different head sculpts there with the two different hairs. Two guns. There's all the pieces it comes with or accessories. I'll show these with the black background as well. And the last time we saw Winter Soldier Black Widow was in 2014 in the Mandroid Builder Figure Wave. Nine years since we've seen this figure. But we've seen it. Next thing we see is Iron Man Mark 46 from Captain America Civil War as well. You can see the Tony Stark head it comes with, extra hands, blast effects. Back of that package. All the accessories he comes with. And I can't believe it, but he's still got pins in him. How do you release these figures and not redo the uh, the pins on them? I don't know. Here we go with the black backgrounds. And it's been since 2016, seven years since we've seen this particular figure, Mark 46. We saw it battle damage and we saw it regular in the Giant Man Build a Figure Wave MCU. Next we have Captain America Civil War War Machine. There you see the back of the package. You see 003 on his armor, Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes. different angles all the accessories it comes with extra hands and last time we saw this was also in 2016 seven years since we saw this last this is in the two pack target exclusive two pack and also in a Disney Store exclusive four pack there. We got our Bruce Banner here from Avengers Infinity War. Extra hands, fisted and open. Back of that package. I love the uh, pose there, showing he's going to flip in the Hulk there. That's a great head sculpt from Mark Ruffalo. And it's been since 2015, eight years since we saw a Bruce Banner. That was in a four pack there. Here we go with Tom Holland, Spider-Man from Civil War. He's got his Tom Holland head. Peter Parker head, whatever you can call it. Extra hands, fisted and flipping. Back of that package. I 
again, we still have pins in these figures. I cannot believe this. And we got this figure back in 2016 and 2017 from the Homecoming Wave and also from Civil War. Three back there. So seven years. And we have our Captain America from the Winter Soldier, and that's kind of bluer costume. Got the Steve Rogers or Chris Evans head. Back of that package. Getting ready to fight. And last time we saw this was nine years ago, 2014, in the Mandroid Build-A-Figure Wave. And yeah, this does look better. And then from Iron Man, you got your Mark II armor here. Got the open face mask there. Back of the package. Flying around. There's your extra hands and your effect pieces and the other helmet. And this is pretty much just a repaint of the figure in 2021 from the other Infinity Saga. And we got our Thor from Thor the Dark World with an extra head sculpt there. Back of that package. And it comes with a funny looking head sculpt there. Moving Mjolnir around. And last time we saw Thor in this costume was in 2018, five years. It was in a two-pack with Sif from the first 10 years, Marvel Studios. So yeah, there's our 2023 versions of the Infinity Saga figures in these packages. So not bad, but didn't have all the excitement that the first Infinity Saga wave did because we've actually seen all these. It's just kind of re-releases of stuff that we've possibly already got in our collection, but in newer forms. A little bit of honorable mention here with the Void Builder figure wave. It's supposed to release 2024. Some people overseas got it 2023. It's a great wave, all comic based. Void Builder figure, Alter Ego of Century. Nice wave. We got a new vision there. Black Panther, Namor, Namorita. Bunch of new warriors there with Justice, Squadron Supreme with Power Woman. I think that's not her name, but whatever. And then Chris Star. Alright, so here we are. Let's start off with honorable mentions from 2023 and their best waves. And to me, you know, you got your Ant-Man, your Wise Quantumanium, Cassie Lang, Build-A-Figure Wave. And the only standout for me in that wave was the Egghead. Uh, nothing else, you know, was a great figure, except for the Cassie, it was okay. Uh, the next wave is the Spider-Man Retro Card Wave, which they started off with another retro back here instead of those classic retro backs. And the classic ones were just the Rose and Tarantula. Uh, it was an okay wave, but not, you know, nothing to stand out for me. And the last one is the Disney Plus Wave. Again, nothing that stands out for me. Alright, so here is my top 10 list. And again, this is my choices for top 10 of the year. You can put your choices down in the comments of who you thought the best wave was for the year. But here we go, start off with number 10. With the totally awesome Hulk Build-A-Figure Wave. Great wave, great little figure. I love the uh, Karnak and the Marvel Boy figures. 
And again, if you like the marbles, then you got those three female figures there, so pretty cool. But that's number 10 for me. At number 9, we got the Into the Spider or Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 Spider-Man Retro Card Wave. Lots of great sculpts here. You know, only time you're ever going to use these sculpts, so very interesting the way they did those. At number 8, got the Guardians of the Galaxy Wave. The reason this is so high on the list is because I love that Cosmo build figure. And I love the fact the costumes all matched each other. Really cool. At number seven is the No Way Home Spider-Man wave. I love seeing all of the Spider-Mans from all of our movies over the generations here. Great sculpts for them and great head sculpts. At number six, we got the Infinity Saga wave. No beetle figures with this, but at least we were plastic free on it. At number five, we had the Chod beetle figure wave. Again, this was a great wave that just needed to fix the paint on Chod, and that would have been perfect. At number four, we got the 97 X Men wave. Nice to see this wave come, and I cannot wait to see this show. I loved the X Men the animated series back in the day. At number three for me, the Puff Adder build a figure wave, first wave of the year. Lots of good new figures there. Number two is the finally coming back with the plastic on the packaging. We have the mindless one, Army Builder build a figure wave. So I cannot wait to get that one in hand finally. And at number one, not sure if this is fair or not, but here is the number one wave, which is the 60th anniversary of the Avengers. So that is my top 10 list. Let me know yours. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if already. Hit that thumbs up. And guys, don't forget to join as well. Become a channel member. I'll talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Pinterest, and especially over on ZachJackDan.com for all the photos you want of these videos.